Hello, everybody. Welcome to VGWA World. I'm Cobretti. And I'm Wally. And come join us today as we count down the top 10 wrestling import games not named Fire Pro. For this list, we'll be looking at wrestling games that never quite made it to U.S. shores. But first... Why don't you smash that like button with the chair and power bomb that subscribe button? If you enjoy our content, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. We would appreciate it since it helps our channel grow, and you'll get notified of all our content featuring wrestling video games. Number 10, Tukan Ratsuden 3 on the PS1. First, I'd like to say is, is something's weird about this. I'm not number 10 usually. So Cobretti must have something planned for number one. What the hell, Wally? Are you saying I'm inept to pick a number one game? No, no, I, I'm not saying you're inept, but maybe incompetent. If you're looking for a game with 38 wrestlers in it, then Tukan Rexuden 3 is for you. With a roster of wrestlers from America and Japan, you have some of the greats in there, such as the Grey Muda, Tiger Mask, Rick and Scott Steiner, Mashashiro Chono, Black Tiger, aka Eddie Guerrero, and BGWA's greatest, Ricky Chochu. After watching the video for the intro, I was super excited because it showed the action of Japanese wrestling, but it also showed Sting, and it also showed the immortal Hulk Hogan. I'm curious how they got him in there. Copyright issues didn't hold them back. Maybe they limited their appearances to under five seconds. We're not saying that that matters, though. No, we've never had to remove videos due to copyright issues. Though they're not in the game, the roster still is incredible. What I really like about the game is it took the Power Move Pro Wrestling from PS1 and amped it up to 10. Now you have four players, you have tag team, you have battles, you have this incredible roster of moves that you couldn't do before. If they continued this game all the way through Infinity, I would be there playing each one. Number 9. Online Pro Wrestling for the PS2. The highly acclaimed development team that brought you the SmackDown series on PS2 and the same development company that is now currently bringing you AEW Fight Forever, Fuchs developed this hidden gem that never left Japan. A game with a huge emphasis on character creation and sharing those creations online, you figured would not be able to be an enjoyable experience today. With the server shut down, we were not able to play online, but Wally and I had a blast in the one versus one and tag team modes provided with the base game. This game is easy to pick up and play, with gameplay similar to the SmackDown series. So play a game of roulette and pick a random wrestler from the selection of 32, who you will have no idea what they look like and enjoy the excitement of the unknown in your next match. Or create your own wrestler and customize them with a move selection of over 2,500 different moves to select from to make that perfect Ahmed Johnson. Number eight, Giant Graham 2000 All Japan Pro Wrestling 3 on the Dreamcast. So, I know I sounded super excited about 38 wrestlers in the roster, but this one is impressive. With 31 players up front and 14 secret players, you have a total of 45 wrestlers you can play as. This is one impressive roster for a Dreamcast game. With that impressive roster, you have legends such as Giant Baba, Bobo Brazil, Bruno San Martino, The Destroyer, and Bruiser Brody. The controls were kind of my weakness of the game. But it was still fun. You had to be precise with your timing. Kind of like another game that we're not really talking about in this one. Fire Pro. You could counter. Pretty easy in this game, like a lot of the WWE, WWF games that are out there. But the game was fun. It was very intense. The other good thing about the game is you had weapons. You could hit with chairs, tables, everything pretty much. Except the kitchen sink. And a wrench. But they also had a system called the Burning Rage system. Or once you got powered up all the way, you basically went invincible and you could perform combos and power moves. IDDQD. That was so exciting to watch. I think I'm gonna go beat up Cobretti now. Number seven, Tukon Club for the Famicom. This game has some of the largest, most well-animated sprites 
not just a wrestling game, but of all Famicom games. In addition to the large animated sprites, they were really pushing this 8-bit console to its limits, including a rotating ring. And with all these advanced graphical features, you would think that the game audio would have to suffer. However, the audio design for this video game is exceptional, making 2Con Club the proper swan song as the last wrestling video game being released for the Nintendo Famicom. Number 6, Wrestle Kingdom 2 on the PS2. I'm going to be blunt about this. This game has some of the best graphics I've seen on a PS2. The character models are top notch. The intros are spectacular. It really draws you in as a wrestling fan and is a video game connoisseur. Again, on this one, there's a lot of wrestlers on here. From New Japan Pro Wrestling, All Japan Pro Wrestling, Legends, and Freelance Wrestlers, as well as some hidden characters. This roster was impressive as well. But really, let's get down to it. The gameplay. The controls were fantastic. They pretty much, just like any other modern wrestling game now, or WWE wrestling modern game, you could combo strike. You had light grapples, strong grapples. You had all these different moves at your fingertips. Think of it as an early version of our current WWE wrestling games. For me, I always liked exhibition matches because it gave me the freedom to be able to try and do new things and get better at the game. So whenever I went into a campaign mode or tournaments, I had the opportunity to be eh, better. What was great about this exhibition one, he also gave you hardcore shoot rules and MMA rules within these matches. One cool feature was it gave you bios for each character and their stats, gave you championship history, and gave you some digital autographs. And as a wrestling fan, you really feel the nostalgia and the greatness of the game. If you've never played Wrestle Kingdom 2 on the PS2, you should. It is a great game to play and add to your collection. Number 5. Jukio Power Pro Wrestling Max Voltage 96 What in the Isuke naming convention is this game? I was a normal high school student, but now I'm stuck in a Fire Pro Wrestling game and my wrestling rank is zero. For this game, the development team at Konami tried their hand at making a wrestling video game for the first time since 1988 when they released Main Event in the arcades. However, this game is very different and strays away from the arcade playstyle. And Jikyo Power Pro Wrestling takes a lot of influence from the Fire Pro Wrestling series, managing to combine both a button grapple system with the timing system. Where in Jikyo Power Pro Wrestling, you have to press a button to initiate a grapple, but then after that, an animation plays, and at the right time, you need to hit the correct button combination to perform a move. Featuring a roster of 50 wrestlers, including a whole federation, based off of classic Konami characters. This game was a technological marvel whenever it was released, using pre-render graphics similar to the Donkey Kong Country series. Did you just compare this game to Donkey Kong? Donkey Kong Country. And this is not one of those games that only looked good whenever it was paused. It included smooth animations, including taunts, and your wrestler getting frustrated. And let's not forget, the ability to spray mist into your opponent's face. And if these graphical feats weren't impressive enough on the Super Famicom hardware, it had a fully digitized voice commentary. A feature rarely seen, even in the CD released games at the time. Sure, some of the wrestler models were just merely palette swaps from other ones. There is still enough in this game that you should go play it. Now, well, finish this video, like and subscribe, then go get this game and play it. Number four, All Japan Pro Wrestling featuring Virtue on the Sega Saturn. Feel the pain, feel the impact, feel the struggle of each wrestler in this. And IGN gave this an eight actually. So hey, it's gotta be a pretty good game. Cause remember, you can't spell ignorant without IGN. One of the greatest things for me in this game is actually the crowd. They're all photorealistic. Really, photorealistic. They may be motionless, but they add character to the game. So I know I'm taking a step back on the roster volume of 13, but it's not always about the number of characters. It's just how they're used. 
I get that this game doesn't live up to the previous games in volume, but it is about the fun. It is about how the game performs. The game performs very well. You learn button combos through a training. And these button combos, if you're also into fighting games, translate into a well-oiled machine. One thing that is also really good is your character creation. It actually asks you questions in Japanese on your character. And how you answer them is how your characters develop. Mind you, did not make an Ahmed Johnson. Though I will now. Ahmed Johnson, Hall of Fame 2024. If you have a Sega Saturn, or if you had a Sega Saturn, this is one of those games you should have picked up. Small roster, but a lot of fun. And if you like to play couch co-op, this would have been a great one to play with. Number three, The Wild Rings for the original Xbox. This game has potential to be a number one contender for this list. So why isn't this game number one? Mainly because I haven't had a chance to spend enough time with it to master the controls. With the game mechanic that favors timing-based grapples over button mastery, the Wild Rings should be on the radar of any Fire Pro Wrestling fan. With the grappling system adding an additional tweak to the Fire Pro series, there is a status bar at the bottom with different colors whenever you make a grapple, with each color representing a weak, medium, and strong maneuvers, where you have to hit the correct maneuver in these zones before your opponent pulls off their maneuver. The Wild Rings is a wrestling game that can be loved by fans of any wrestling genre. If you want to play as strong style wrestling, American wrestling, Lucha Libre, or even some shoot fighting, MMA, and more. Hey, what about garbage deathmatch wrestling? Technically, I don't think it's included, nor do I think midget wrestling is included either. Is that why the Dwarfinators keep popping up on my feet? With 100 athletes covering 11 different fighting styles, you can recreate matches that you thought would never happen in a video game. Do you want to recreate Antonio Noki versus Muhammad Ali? Go for it. Or let's say that Mike Tyson stayed around after the Attitude Era and wanted to knock out a sumo wrestler. This game has you covered. This is one game I can't wait to dig deeper into. Number two, Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 for the N64. Before everybody shuts down and turns off the video, hold on a minute. We have a reason for number two. And Cobretti will explain it. I, I can't, I have no idea why. I mean, have we ever really stuck to the rules on these number 10 lists anyway? This game takes everything that a lot of Americans really loved about the WWF 2000 and WCW NWO Revenge. Now mind you, if you really listen to the intro music, they all sound the same. I'm just gonna point that out. Take a gander sometime. Hmm. This game is fantastic. It has all the controls that we love and the features from the WWF and WCW NWO Revenge games also on the N64. If you played those, you can easily jump into this and feel like you were riding the same bike. And that's not a bad thing. The game features a huge roster of Japanese wrestlers, martial artists, and American wrestlers. Mind you, I had to create Ahmed Johnson just because I wanted him to be in the Hall of Fame of 2024. The game features all the same modes that the WWF 2000 and WCW NWO Revenge have. Create a character, exhibition, tournament, tag team, and all the other fun, great stuff. The great thing is, is you can pick this game up, play with two or four characters, because the N64 had four ports on it, don't forget. And you can have fun mashing and beating each other up, or tagging up and whooping some booty. The game is great. Aki did a wonderful job, and if you've never played it, you never owned it, you should try and pick this one up now and play it. Now, to number one. Cobretti is going to make this the best number one we have ever had in VGWA. Before we get to our number one pick, let's take a look at the honorable mentions that didn't quite make the list. Kenny Kuman for the Famicom. Still not getting any kickbacks. The Wrestle Angel series. Highly intriguing, but we got to figure out how to play it. And Kenny Kuman Muscle Grand Prix. Stardust Suplex. 
female anime, and wrestling. Do I need to explain more? And can you come in Muscle Grand Prix? Two. Joshi Pro Wrestling Story. Dating visual novel and wrestling. Why not? Kenny Kuman. Whoa, stop. Not all the honorable mentions need to be Kenny Kuman. Wait, what about all your female fan service wrestling games there, fanboy? Can we just both agree with All Star Pro Wrestling Series? You know, surprisingly, Squaresoft made some good wrestling games too. Number one Thunder Pro Wrestling Red Suited for the Sega Mega Drive. Human Entertainment took a break from releasing Fire Pro Wrestling video games and created the Thunder Pro Wrestling Ratsuden series for the Sega Mega Drive, which took heavy influence from the Fire Pro Wrestling series. Uh, Cobretti, that is literally the same engine. Nothing changed. Does it say Fire Pro in the title? Hey, you know what? You have a good point about that. We said nothing that said Fire Pro. But it's still the same game. You cheating bastard? All right, Wally, you asked for it. Number one, the top exclusive PAL wrestling game, World Wrestling Championship for the PS2. What? With a lackluster roster of six characters, you can participate in matches that can barely qualify as wrestling in this horribly controlled PS2 exclusive. So if you ever find yourself sitting at home playing Simpsons Wrestling and going, man, how can I get a better import version of this? And by better, we mean worse. Pick up World Wrestling Championship for the PS2. You'll regret it. You know, Cabretti, this is the reason why you can't pick number one. And this is why we just lost 10 subscribers. Seriously, what is up with that? You figured with the strong influence of World of Sport, you could at least release one good exclusive wrestling video game. And on that terrible disappointment, number two is now our number one. Thanks for coming, everyone. <laughs>